Once upon a time, there was a young and graceful monk, a disciple of the great Gautam Buddha. Just like Buddha, he had left behind his royal heritage and embraced a life of simplicity and enlightenment. In that eastern realm, there existed a woman of mesmerizing beauty named Amrapali, often compared to the legendary Cleopatra of the West. However, Amrapali's life was not as glamorous as it seemed from the outside. Amrapali was incredibly beautiful, and her palace was adorned with golden chariots and horses. Even powerful kings had to wait in line just to catch a glimpse of her. Yet, deep within her heart, she felt a void. Being a courtesan, she often experienced the pain of being objectified and used by others. She yearned for genuine love and respect, something that she wasn't able to get despite her riches. One day, as the young monk wandered into the city to beg for alms, he caught sight of Amrapali's magnificent palace. Unaware of who lived there, he was awestruck by its splendor. As he gazed upward, his eyes met Amrapali's eyes. She was looking out from the window, but something unusual happened at that moment. Instead of staring at her beauty, the monk bowed down to her with deep reverence. He respected her as a person, not an object of desire to be exploited. This simple act of respect touched Amrapali's soul like never before. Overwhelmed with emotions, Amrapali rushed down to meet the young monk. She couldn't believe that someone had treated her with such genuine respect and dignity. With tears of joy, she invited him to be her guest in the palace and have food with her. The monk hesitated, saying he was just a beggar, and it might not look appropriate for him to be in her grand palace where many kings were waiting to meet her. Amrapali urged him to forget about the kings and not reject her invitation. She explained that she had been invited by countless kings and emperors before, but she had never invited anyone herself. This was her very first invitation, and she didn't want to be hurt by his refusal. The monk, with deep respect in his heart, agreed to share a meal with her. When the young monk went to Amrapali's house, other monks followed him. They were surprised and angry to see him entering the house of a prostitute. They returned to Gautam Buddha and demanded that the monk be expelled from their community because they believed he had broken their rules by going to her house and accepting her invitation. However, the Buddha, without making any judgment, decided to let the monk come back. In her palace, Amrafali served food to the monk herself and then asked him a favor. She told him that the rainy season was coming and according to their rules, monks needed to find shelter for four months during this time. She offered her palace as a shelter without asking for anything in return and promising not to disturb him. The monk agreed but said he had to ask Buddha for permission first. He went back and told Buddha everything, including Amrapali's profession. Some monks protested, saying it was not right for a monk to stay with a prostitute for four months. Buddha, however, allowed the monk to stay with Amrapali, explaining that the monk had treated her with respect and not judged her. He trusted the monk's meditation and insight, and he believed it was a good opportunity to see what would happen. Buddha asked everyone to wait and observe what unfolded over the next four months. During those four months, the other monks anxiously awaited the young monk's return. They feared that he would be corrupted by Amrapali's charm and never come back as a virtuous monk. But when the rainy season ended, the young monk returned accompanied by Amrapali herself, who now sought initiation into Buddha's commune. The other monks were in greater astonishment when they saw this profound transformation within Amrapali. The Buddha then addressed the monks. You see, when a person with great awareness and understanding enters the life of someone leading a different lifestyle, it's the latter who is influenced positively. The one with higher consciousness brings about a transformation in the other person. The higher energy cannot be pulled down by the lower energy. Instead, it elevates and uplifts the lower one. Buddha's decision to allow the monk to stay with Amrapali had a profound lesson for his followers. He knew that true spiritual growth and awakening come from within. If one's consciousness is strong and pure, external temptations cannot corrupt it. Instead, it is the 
external world that transforms in the presence of awakened consciousness. Amrapali's transformation exemplified this truth. Her encounter with the respectful and awakened monk changed her perspective. Her heart opened up to higher values and she offered her mango grove and palace to support the spread of Buddha's teachings. This story carries a profound message. It teaches us not to judge others based on their past or occupation. When we cultivate true understanding and awareness, our hearts become like that of a child, innocent and devoid of judgment. Age might make us grow old, but true growth lies in awakening our consciousness and becoming wise like the young monk who saw the beauty in Amrapali's soul, rather than being blinded by her external appearance. The story reminds us that respect and compassion can transform lives, and true wisdom lies in seeing the beauty and divinity within every being, irrespective of their outer circumstances. It encourages us to embrace our own inner purity and treat others with genuine respect and love, just as the young monk did for Amrapali. In doing so, we can create a world where acceptance and understanding replace judgment and prejudice.